What's up, you guys? Hope you guys are doing awesome. So today I wanted to talk about a potential really big opportunity coming up with the FINA. And I think this will be a very rare opportunity. So let's get into it. But before we do, just know that this is all speculation. Don't invest more in what you can lose. Assume that you will lose everything and you won't get rich quick. And please do your own research. Don't trust random people like me off the internet with your financial well-being. I'm just a random dude on the internet seeing random things. So you probably shouldn't trust me, okay? But that being said, let's get into it. So let's talk about what happened, right? So the overall market is improving with retail slowly coming back. There's also less sell pressure due to the earnings reduction getting subtracted by minus 5% every week until the Finiverse is released within one and a half to two months. And there's a strong support around 0.34 for Fina. And then furthermore, there's the April 12th vesting lock of around 2 million tokens incoming along with two months of no updates as set in a Discord announcement. So that could be bearish. However, it's also contrasted with other bullish news like the Polygon box sales incoming and one-time shield deals back, just like how Alex Becker shilled Defina today. So now it's probably going to pop up a bit. However, there are other shillers in the works, deals coming right now, and then Polygon will probably shill Defina once they do the box sale too. So there are a bunch of bearish and bullish news. So what are some opportunities you guys can get into? to make the most out of it. So the biggest play I think is let's so let's give a little context first, right? So vesting unlocks usually come with a big dip from sell pressure. So then this could be a great opportunity to swoop up NFTs for cheap during paper hand panic. So whenever there's a big dip, people tend to panic and then they sell their higher level characters for super cheap. So this usually dips around like 0 0.3 or something for FINA as that has been a really good tested support range. So then let's say the floor right now for S characters around like 115 or something for like a level one character, maybe someone panic sells, they sell a level 30 S character for 120. So that's like only like five Fina more, right? So you can swoop that up and then maybe once bullish conditions, Fina goes up like 20 cents and then the floor goes up 40 FINA, so you'll make a lot more from that. So you have a 40% increase on top of the 20 cent increase. So what is that like 60% increase in token price? So that would be an even better deal to sell that. Secondly, first gen hero supplies is almost maxed out. It's around 75k. And then there's the Polygon partnership box sale incoming. So the price sell around 5 to 10k during that. So that means that there's probably only 10 to 15k left of the supply left to be minted so that might take maybe 15 to 30 days so after that there will be a delay between the first generation and second generation heroes getting released so maybe there might be delay for a few days one two three weeks or something so assuming there's a decent demand for the characters with no supply so maybe the bullish market conditions get unleashed the one-time shill dealers just keep creating the FINA content to bring in more people along with the usual ambassadors creating their content. So there'll be higher demand with less supply. So the floor prices will probably increase dramatically for all these characters on the market. This happened, I think two or three times in the past and every time everything pretty much like two X on the floor, right? Eight characters were 120 FINA, I believe. And FINA was like two or three dollars. So that's just the power of how less supply with more demand will affect the market. Furthermore, shells from Polygon, one-time partnership deals like Hax Becker today when he pumped it, Finiverse News revealed the first gen hero benefits. So holding these first generation heroes will give you benefits that's not stated. However, I believe that once it is revealed, a lot of people are gonna get into it. They're gonna wanna buy a lot of it, especially whales so that will pump up token price and raise the force for characters so this will create an even bigger pump on top of that kind of like a positive feedback loop right so i believe all this will probably result in a chill 35x of nfts if they're scooped up during big dips so Alex becker pumped it a bit right now so maybe you can wait until things are a little bit more chill i mean right now it's kind of like a fair price it's a pretty good deal for the long term 
However, for a short term, it's not too good. You can just wait until the vesting unlocks happen around April 12th. Then people start panic selling, and then you can swoop up some really good NFTs then. Furthermore, there will also be delay, right? So once all first-gen heroes are minted, people will no longer be able to make mystery boxes during that brief delay. So you can also hold on to your mystery boxes until that happens where there's a supply shortage of mystery boxes and then you sell them. So right now it's around 200 Fina, right? So maybe it'll increase by 20, 30, 40%. And you can probably sell your mystery boxes for like 260, 280, 300 or something like that. So that's what I see. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment what you think, what you think are the best plays for all these Market conditions and news coming up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Most importantly, these videos are for entertainment purposes and are not recommendations as I'm not a licensed professional. You win in crypto by surviving long term and through collecting blue chips early. This means limiting excessive leverage, less liquidations, and through protecting your capital to survive the long term. Lastly, the best investments are the ones where you have the greatest conviction in through doing your own research, not blindly following someone on Twitter or YouTube because by the time you hear about it on social media, it's probably too late. And furthermore, the best play isn't some token. It's to contribute your unique personality, your unique skill set to a community that you really vibe with needs. So it's not just some random token hopping from project to project, thinking about the short term. It's about really contributing and building a unique product that is valuable to a lot of people and to really grow the community that you really vibe with. And that will be your best play, which will give you the best opportunities later on. So thank you guys for watching and talk to you all next time.